Hey guys, how's it going? Darshi Gong here, gaming on the dark side. G O T D S, got this. Anyways, coming at you with our next episode, episode number six, Sace of our Donna Titans event overview and free to play analysis. This week, we're going to be checking out. Our Monday event, which I normally don't do too many of these, but it's kind of cool because we got Frigg. That's right, Frigg, the Paladin, Lightning, up the butt, hardcore coming at you, Titan. Anyways, this event is a 66 hour long event because it's going through Monday, which is today technically, the 26th, all the way through the 29th. Um, Frigg returns with the full might of Asgard behind her. Witness the power of her new prestige skill and the new synergy effect from the Skidblandnir relic. When equipped, Frigg Storm Maidens fight with frenzied rage alongside shielded Goliaths. That's right, we got a brand new relic. Synergy, kind of interesting. But we'll get into all that later. Right now, for the players that want to get right into the game, the TLDR Report. You can grind this event out for free if you got about 14,770 gems lying around for your pure grind. If you're going to be using relics and you wanted to use all your saved up relics, which I don't know why you would, it'll take about 33 of those if all you get are one star rolls. Is something better? Wait, well, hey, I got the chart for you towards the end of this video, so just skip all the way over there if you want to see what you need to get this done. All right, let's check out the spender report. All right, spenders. Now, it's not gonna be the lightning candle or the storm candle, it'll be a sources of light for this event. And you can use any relics lying around, but if they do happen to have this 1399 pack, this would be the best pack to get. Um, with those there, guys, it'll take about four to five of them to complete this entire event. So if you're gonna pay for it, you're looking to spend about 56 bucks to $70 to complete the entire event using boost packs. So hey, like I said, if your time is worth more than your money, and you have the money to do it, well, hey, there you go, spenders. All right, let's get going. All right, now that the TLDRs are out of the way, we can get on with the analysis of the event and the breakdown for our free-to-play and our grinders. So for you guys that are sticking around, sit back, grab your tea, and enjoy the show with my man Kermit here. Before we do get started, hit that subscribe button if you haven't hit it yet, and hit the bell notification, helps to see my videos. Let's start off by checking out Frigg. Now her original skills here are gonna be staying the same. On um, her first skill, on each Storm Maiden summon, she's gonna gain 30% Titan armor and lightning damage. 30% um, base Titan health, 117% Titan health, and you're gonna get five Omega Storm Maidens. All right, now. You're gonna get 117% Goliath health on her second skill, 88% Storm Maiden armor piercing, times two on defense, which is nice, and 88% Goliath armor, two times on defense. So this is a defensive Titan, so they will be stronger when they're, she's defending an island or your garrison. Now on each Storm Maiden summon, you're gonna cast lightning on a random enemy when you unlock that third skill. 40% Titan and Goliath melee resist, 44% Storm Maiden Critical. For the fourth skill, you're gonna get 40% Goliath Ranged Resist, 180% Storm Maiden Damage, two times in defense, that's 360%. They'll be dropping the guys. And then you have 88% Titan Armor, two times in defense. Give them a little more armor. Still not quite enough, but we need even more, but it's not too bad. It's really getting up there now. Now on the fifth one, on Enemy Summon, Frigg is gonna cast Maelstrom on them. Basically, it's a bunch of extra lightning spells. They come down faster. It's kind of crazy. 40% Titan melee res uh, resist to all elements and 100% all spell damage. Well, I mean, all lightning spell damage. So basically, the regular lightning spell and lightning storm spells will have 100% extra damage with her fifth skill unlocked. Moving on to her prestige skills. Now, this is the thing that's updated. So this should be retroactive on, I think, all the frigs. Once this event starts, um, you should be able to get these new ones. So if you prestiged her already, it'll change over to these. So now, these numbers, really quick, guys, are based off a of level 10 prestige titan. So when you first unlock it at level 1, you're not going to see... 
um, 75% Titan armor probably. It'll probably be like every 10% health loss gain like, I don't know, 20% Titan armor. So don't be like, oh, what's just going on with the skills here? Remember, this that's level one. Get all the way to level 10 and you'll see these numbers. With that said, let's check it out. So um, at prestige level 10, you're gonna have 120% base Titan and Goliath health and 50% base Storm Maiden damage. It would've been awesome if that was 120% base Titan and Goliath armor. I'd rather have that than health personally. Um, now on prestige level one, you're gonna get every 10% health loss, gain 75% Titan armor. At prestige level four, every 10% health lost. Now I'm thinking this is 10% health lost on the Titan, I would, I would think. Um, you're gonna get 75% troop armor. So basically I put Frig in the middle of everything, let her start getting pounded on. That way you can get these buffs. Um, at prestige level seven, every 10% health lost, you're gonna gain 50% Titan, troop, and lightning spell damage. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see here, so that's what my maximum 500%, not bad, not bad at all. And then the last skill here, unlocked at prestige level 10, on every one of your Omega Storm Maiden summons, you're also gonna call an Omega Goliath. I don't know where they're gonna drop, they might drop on troops, they might not, not too sure. But you're also gonna gain 10% Titan, troop, melee, and all elemental resist a max of five times, so that's 50% um, total for that last skill. All right, let's take a look at the four star relics we're gonna get in the event. The first one at 5,000 souls is gonna be Lubu's Crown. This is gonna buff your Storm Maiden armor piercing, give you some Titan armor, and it's gonna give you 16% all troop elemental resist. Not too bad for this Titan necessarily. Not the best relic, but not too bad either. Then you're gonna get one of Frigg's, some of my signature ones here, Frigg's Mistletoe, 60% Omega Storm Maiden armor piercing, three more lightning spells, and 18% Titan melee and ranged resist. Um, once again, I, I, the lightning spells aren't bad because like I said, she's gonna be bringing some serious lightning spell damage, so that helps a lot if you're looking for a lightning build. And then of course your Storm Maidens have some extra armor piercing, that never hurts, especially considering the insane amount of armor that defensive titans are bringing to the field these days. Next, we have Storm Prophecy at 10,000 souls. 18% Titan All Elemental Resist, 50% Storm Maiden Damage, and 18% Goliath Melee and Ranged Resist. Make those guys a little beefier, which is always nice. Um, I mean, some people do attack with Frigg. She's not too bad with the, that lightning build, like I was saying. You put her on defense, obviously you want your Goliaths lasting, and the more damage those Storm Maidens can do, well, the more it's gonna hurt the person attacking you. They might still beat you, but at least you'll cause them to lose a lot of troops in the process, which is always nice. Um, next, at 13,000 souls, we got the brand new Synergy Relic, the Skid Blandnir. This is that boat made from Siv's hair. Um, let's see here, we got 40% Titan and Troop armor, 40% Titan health, and 40% all spell elemental damage. I can see that being kind of a cool one for some of the other Titans we have out there, especially the Archmages, since this will be magic based. I can see this coming in handy later on. Now, for the synergy with Frigg, if you have this equipped on your Frigg, at Relic level five, Frigg's fifth skill, Maelstrom, will also react to enemy spells cast. So not just when the enemy summons, but now when the enemy casts any kind of spell, you'll toss down Maelstrom. Just not too sure who it's gonna be hitting, because I know on the summons, I think Maelstrom hits the summon. On this one here, I'm not too sure where it's gonna go. Now, at Relic level 10, um, when an Omega Storm Maiden is summoned, you're gonna cast Rage on them. And when an Omega Goliath is summoned, you'll cast Shield on them, which is pretty cool. Um, like I said, the only thing is, in order to get the Omega Goliaths, I think you need to have a P10 Frig that's dropping out those um, uh, Storm Maidens. I mean, your Storm Maidens you got right from level one and all, but um, to get the Omega Goliaths, I believe you need that P10, so kind of an expensive one if you want to get the full use of that synergy relic if you're going further into the event at 15,000 souls you'll get yourself frig now some of us already have it some of you guys might not um, some of you guys are looking for some prestige food so either way something for everyone if you want it uh, yeah so frig at 15,000 and then over here at 16,000 which is pretty sick the ring of juiced this ring is awesome. Um, you got 40% Titan and Troop Health, 20% Titan and Troop All Elemental Resist, and on an enemy offensive spell cast, you'll shield your Titan a max of eight times. A great little ring if you don't have one. 
um, or if you already have one, get a second one. And the last thing we're gonna take a look at are the event intangibles. Remember, these are the things that don't necessarily have a cash value, but they do have game value for the players that do the entire event. In this event, you have a four-star Titan, Frigg, who's updated with the prestige, five four-star relics, and 450 divine gems. And like I'd say to all the time, guys, always ask yourself if the juice is worth the squeeze. Is this event worth doing it for these intangibles or not? Totally up to you guys. I can't make that decision for you. All right. Now it's time for math for my grinders and free to play. Let's move into it. Before we start, though, remember, I do not factor in portal stone refresh rates, portal stone reward drops. If you take longer than a minute in between your attacks, well, hey, you have to adjust your numbers accordingly. And I do not take into consideration the two, three, and four-star boost um, relics. Everything's based off the worst luck possible with a one-star roll. So if you roll better, hey, man, kudos to you. These numbers will be obviously much less. So think of these as a guesstimation. So in order to get the full guesstimation here, we got to look at our chosen titans. Um, for a 1.1 boost, you'll get that with any three-star lightning titan. If you got four-star lightning titans, you get a 1.2 boost. And if you have hell or frig, you get a 1.4 boost. Now, sources of light are the boost relics, and you can use any of your old relics as well in this event, which is great. Um, taking a look at the event rewards for grinding in this event, we have ourselves, I want to say, 3,500 gems. We have 600 portal stones and five event tokens that we can use for event grinding. So those I will be using as the numbers um, when you guys look at how many gems and portal stones it takes to do this. The one thing I don't count for the most part are the event tokens um, because I look at a pure grind unless we're talking about using tokens, which I'll be further into the math. All right, so I went a little different today on the pure grind for this event. Since it's only 17,000 souls, I wanted to break it down further for you. So the very minimum anyone should do, every single player, is 1,500 souls. It's great. You can get three event tokens that you can save for this weekend's event, which is a Solomancer. All right, that'll take you 108 battles. You can get that done real easy in about two hours and have yourself three tokens. All right, so it's a great investment. The next level up, if you're going to pass that, would be 6,000 souls, where you get the full five event tokens to the event to save for this weekend's event, which is Solomancer. I'm kind of looking at that one myself personally. That's probably where I'm going to stop. Um, if that's where you're going to be stopping, you're looking at about 429 battles to get that done. All right. Um, about seven hours worth of grinding. So five tokens is 10,000 gems worth of value. You'll be getting that for 6,600 gems, which, like I said, is a great, great value, and it's going to help out a lot for this weekend's event, the Solomancer. The next stop, if you want to keep going further as an event, would be 13,000 souls to get the Skid Blandnir relic. If you really want that synergy relic for your frig, um, I guess this would be for someone that already has frig. Um, this is going to take you about 929 battles, so a little under 1,000. It's going to take about 15 and a half hours of grinding if you want to do it. We have more than enough time. We have 66 hours in this event, so you can get that done. Um, and like I said, if you're going to do it, just grind it out. Save the tokens for this weekend's event. Archmage is going to be uh, a big one. Solomancer is going to be a big one. So, you know, the more tokens you have to kind of make that cheaper for you, the better. All right, guys. Now, the next part after that, if you want to finish the entire event, you're looking at 17,000 souls. You're looking at 1,215 battles to grind it out. I know it sounds like a lot to my non-grinders, but it is totally doable. You just got to focus, man. Um, maybe play some good movies on TV and just be tapping the screen. Try to catch some of the live streams from guys like Churro and Zalon and all those dudes to kind of help you eat up some time and just grind it out, get it done. On the cheap, you're looking at 20 hours. So um, that's one third of the time we have for this event. So we have plenty of time to do it. You guys can get it done. Just do it. Now, if you're hell bent on using your saved up relics to do this event, I'm not too sure why you would on a Monday event, but hey, you do you. It's gonna take you, if you get nothing but one star rolls, 33 saved relics, or you're you're spending your gems to get it. You're looking at possibly 33 saved relics just to get this event done. Then you're going to need the extra five that are in the event. So it's 38 relics total to finish the whole entire event and be done with it. 
an expensive proposition, guys, for, well, a Monday solo event. Uh, maybe you're going for the Divine Gems. Who knows? All right. Now, here's a little handy chart. If you guys roll better than one stars, use this chart. Just go ahead and pause the video, look at the numbers, and um, these numbers here will help you to decide how much you need to do more in the event. So if you're lucky enough to get a three-star roll, man, that's gonna be helping you a lot. It's gonna cut 72 battles off your, 72 battles less to do. So all these numbers are minus from what you have. Just take that into consideration. So that leads us to this last one here, guys. Final numbers. How many tokens and gems do you need to finish this event? If you have a 1.4 boost Titan, it's gonna take you at the most 14,770 gems and at the most 33 saved or bought relics to get it done. So you have any combination of these in there, guys, you can finish this event with the, what you already have saved up, which is great. Um, that's gonna be up to you if you wanna use it for that though. All right, guys, like I said, it's a Monday event. I mean, Frig's not horrible, but eh, whatever, all right? That kind of brings us into the end here, which is our, is it worth it? And some thoughts. Frig, great defender. Um, if you're looking for a pure lightning attacker, she's not horrible actually with those lightning spells and all. But is she really gonna be the meta titan you're looking for? Ah, you know, she's you know back in the Dragon Slayer era and all. Now we're in the Archmage era. So we have Solomancer this weekend. If you are a free to play player, most likely the best bet would be to save your stuff and go into this weekend. So do the, the 1500 or 6000. Um, souls and get those relics now guys those that's the that's the video that's the video i'm gonna end it there because i gotta get some sleep i'm finishing this video oh my gosh what two o'clock in the morning i want to be able to wake up and start grinding this event out so that being said guys this is dar shigong thank you so much for joining me hope you guys like the content if you lasted this long and you have not yet subscribed what the heck is up with that man <laughs> hit the subscribe button the rest of you guys, though, thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. And um, I guess until we talk about Solomancer later this week, I hope to catch all of you guys gaming on the dark side.